everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a napkin fold gift box. So the napkin fold technique is really popular and there's lots of that around on YouTube. Um, but this is a box version. Now this came about from a um, video, mini video I saw on a Facebook group that I follow by a lovely girl called Jess. And everybody went mad for it and we all wanted to know how she made it. She was a bit dubious whether to do a tutorial or not because she's just starting up her channel which is Papercraft Moon and I will share her details below. Anyway, she's done the tutorial. Um, while she was putting hers up, I managed to kind of work it out myself as well and I told her that I'd done the video and I would be mentioning her. So do pop over to her channel and have a look. She makes some wonderful paper crafts and as I said, she's just starting to do her YouTube channel. So go over and give her some support there would be lovely. Um, She's also got the idea from a Pinterest picture and I've done a little bit of detective work and I've managed to find out what we believe is possibly the, the originals, um, original source and I will share all those links below. But even that lady that shared it said that she saw it from a actual napkin that was folded. So there you go. We never really know where these things come from, I guess. So basically what it is, they look like two very normal boxes. However... The surprise, so I'll show you. First of all, this is with 8x8 paper. So you just lift up the top here, and you have this here. And then as you kind of open it, it kind of clicks out. And inside, you can see there, I've got this little love. So this is the napkin fold. So this you can see, you'll see this in lots of cards. There's lots of napkin fold cards, and that's this piece here. And basically, it's just attached, if you see there, you, you kind of cut through the middle of the paper to form these four triangles and then you just stick it inside your box like so. So that's that version there that I've done using the craft card which I really liked. It kind of clicks in, you push it all in, it clicks in there and then you put the lid back on there. And then i done it again with a 6x6 card. So again, really straightforward box. I still need to decorate this one so I'm going to be doing that one later. And again, you open it up, see it's kind of all clicked into place like so, give you a little side profile there, it looks really really lovely and again just when you lift kind of one it'll then all pop up and then inside you can see I've done this one here slightly different I prefer the design of this one I think just because I love these papers and I'll show you those papers in a minute but you can see again there where it's been cut just to show off the, the triangles there on each side um, so this one was done using playing card as your base um, along with this one here but inside the actual um, napkin fold was done with patterned paper and then plain triangles on top now I actually think I prefer plain with pattern triangles although I've got some plain ones here but I think overall the pattern I like the mix of the pattern and the plain but I just think working with a a plain base is better although I'm going to be showing you on a pattern base again um, just because I'm going to be showing you the 8x8 size so all the di all the dimensions I will share below and I will share all the measurements for this 6x6 but once you know how to do um, one of them then you can just change your sizes on all of them so there you go okay so just pop that one back down again and you can see there on the sides and stuff, it's just a really nice box. So it's your full size, you know, 8x8, 4x4, 12x12. I have also, let me just show you. Um, these are the 12x12 12 12 ones I'm playing around with. So that is just the initial napkin fold piece. And then inside here is what we will be cutting and then forming our box. So it's, it is really, really straightforward. And then this one here, I was playing around and I stuck it on the outside, but I didn't like that one. So but I will also share the measurements for the 12 by 12 as well. Okay, so you are going to need for today, sorry, it's a really, really miserable day. It's pouring down with rain, it's gray and dull, and my lighting's just obviously not great. So apologies there. Right, that's the paper pack I used for that small a six by six. So it's that lovely first edition Paradise Crush. And it was the double sided ones towards the back, which I've used all of them for that project. But yeah, really, really lovely um, papers here. So I'll share all those links. Now I've done loads and loads of this purely because there's lots of it that's so easy. You don't need to watch me doing it. I can just tell you. So first of all, you'll need a piece for your the base of your box. Now this measures eight by eight squared. Then you will need four pieces of DSP, any kind of pattern paper that you want to use. And this measures at three and three quarters by one and three quarters. And you will need four pieces of them. Remember, I'll pop all this in my blog. So um, it's entirely up to you whether you want to write it down now or visit the blog. 
that's that piece there. Then for the actual fold, the, the napkin fold piece in the middle, this is just a piece of 8 by 8 pattern paper. Again, you could use plain if you want to do the plain with this then on top. So I'm still debating even at this point whether to change it up. So um, no, I'm going to stick. I think I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick. Okay, and then the top piece is the lid, which is 8 and 1 8 of an inch squared. So 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8. And then again, I've already decorated this, so I've done, I've stuck everything on just to keep the video nice and short. So, piece of square paper in the middle. This measures uh, 3 and 7 8 of an inch squared. And then the four little ones here, because this is a reinforced lid, these all measure 3 and 7 8 by three quarters of an inch and you'd need four of them and then just something to decorate on top so I've used this wonderful die which I can't remember where I got it from but I will share all the links and it's a two-part die so you've got this one which will just cut out the shape and then if you die cut this one it's um it's kind of a partial die so it doesn't die the cut the whole thing so it now allows you to have this feature here where it just partly dies it and die cuts it out so you can see there it's kind of all lifted up it's beautiful and then I've just die cut another circle in the middle there so that's that piece also I forgot to mention on the back so once we fold all this this is going to be the inside of the box so this is another piece of that um, yeah three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths which was that piece yeah so it's two pieces of that square piece that you would need okay so that's everything there so first of all we're going to make up the box that's what you need to do first so Grab your school board. I seem to have lost my um, let me grab my um, stylus for my board, so I'm having to use one of those nail things, which is another great thing to use anyway, so they're fine. Okay, so it's an 8x8 eight eight piece. You want to score at 2 and 6, and then rotate and score at 2 and 6. Okay, so that's for the base piece there. Then for the lid, again, this is your eight and one eighth of an inch squared piece. You're going to score at one inch, two inches, six and one eighth of an inch, and seven and one eighth of an inch. Just by going over that piece there, and then once we reinforce it, it will give you enough enough room to have a nice um, closure. Then for this piece here, we don't need the scoreboard anymore, so we can get rid of that. And this is where we do our origami folding. So. This is what you're going to see when you open it up. So you want whatever you're going to see. So for example, this here, oh no, that's, because this is patterned, it's easier to show. So you can see here, the pattern is all on the front and actually underneath is the plain side because it's not double-sided that I used. So if you've got double-sided, then I guess you just choose which one you want to be the one. When you lift the lid up, that's what you see. So this is this piece here. Now what we want to do is we want to find the centre point, but we don't want to score. So you just need to do a marker. So I'm just going to mark roughly here at four inches. And again at the top at four inches. And then on this side, four. And this side here. Okay, and then I'm just going to very lightly draw a pencil mark just roughly in the middle there, and then again line up these two points that I've just done, and then again just roughly just do a pencil there. And then I've got a cross now in the middle here, which I can just make a bit dark. I'm going to rub that out in a minute. You just want to have a center point, so we're going to be folding everything in now. Okay, so if you want to now, just rub out these little bits here, and then you can, probably that will end up getting cut out anyway, but we can do the rest of that. You just want to keep that cross in the middle, really. Okay, so then what we're going to do is fold this right-hand side. First of all, we're going to fold across so it lines up with the center there, that cross. Just burnish that, okay. And then again, I'm going to do the left hand side, make sure you've got nice straight joins there on the both ends, like so. And then you're going to fold up your bottom so it meets that middle cross. And then the top, again, fold that over, like so. So you should now just have this big square in the middle and then the score lines all on the side. If I turn it over, you can see there as well what we've got at the moment. Okay, then what we want to do is grab a corner 
and you're going to fold the corner in. So again, meet the middle, burnish that. Again, this is quite a common origami fold. You probably, if you've been, if you've done other origami project projects, you may well have done this before because it's, it's quite a base kind of fold for a lot of then you know other makes. So you just want to really make sure that all of these, basically where the, the, the fold is, it's at the corner of this square here. So you can see the square there, you're just folding along and then that end will meet and so on. Okay, so now we should have the big square in the middle, these score lines here and then an even bigger square here which forms all these little triangles everywhere. Okay, again if I turn it over you can see there, we've got a huge big square here We've got these four triangles, then we've got four squares on the corners, and then little triangles next to each of those as well. Okay, so that is all of that done. Now what you want to do is where you've got this triangle here, you want to fold that over so that triangle is there, and then bring these back on themselves. And this is where you want to make sure that it's nice and straight along there. And again, bring this one over, and just make sure it meets up nicely there. And you can kind of wiggle them, move them a little bit if you need to, just to make sure they all join nicely. Okay, and again, come around to this side. And again, there's that big triangle. You want to bring it right across. So now you will, that one will automatically kind of fold into place. Bring again this one over. Okay, and again, rotate, bring that big triangle over. And then the last one is this big triangle here, just bring that under. So you're folding everything in on itself, like so. Okay, so that's what you should have at this point. Then you wanna get each of these top squares and you're gonna bring it back over and fold it over on itself, like so. that is what you have so that is that top piece here so you can see now how it's all coming together okay so now open it all back out again because you've burnished and scored all those lines and again using that pencil mark you want to grab yourself a metal ruler you want a cutting knife and a good mat so I've got a self-healing mat here so you don't want to do it on your uh, wooden work surface or uh, glass so basically what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting this inside this square here from this point down to this point and that point down to that point, making sure you go right through that X that you marked earlier with the pencil. So pop your metal ruler down, get your cutting tool, make sure you keep it pushed against your ruler, like so. And then again... Make sure you get all those points nice and lined up. There we go. So already now you can see that that's all opened up. And basically these pieces are going to fold down and go inside our box. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to one side for the moment. And you will also need four pieces of... Let me just measure this up because I didn't... Uh, two and a half inch squared okay and you need to cut these across like so and they will form eight little triangles and they will be for these insides of these big squares here so each triangle will have a little mat over the top again I'm going to do all this it's just so you can get that prepped and then you will need one two three four five six seven eight smaller squares and these measure at uh, one and five eighths of an inch squared and again you'll cut them over to give you lots of little triangles okay so now let's grab our base here um, so let's fold this one all over burnish all of these score lines okay 
going to be doing a little bit of cutting so you want to cut up like so and then again this one here now this isn't a reinforced box but once we stick these inside pieces inside this it, it does help reinforce it and if you're using more card so this is a paper but if this is a, a stronger card you don't want to go too thick on the card because it will make the folds really quite hard and you, you do want it to kind of click into the box so you just want to do two cuts like this and then I'm just going to take a little bit off of each side there just creating a tiny little notch just to create a nice join when we come to stick that okay, together. So you can see there what I've cut so just taking these little wedges out of the sides there okay so that's that one and then grab your lid and again where we've scored all of those score lines and just want to burnish okay, so all your lines burnished. burnished and then again just as you do or how I do all these reinforced boxes you've basically got these four squares here in the corner you want to cut up the, the outside of it and just cut all the way down to the second score line. So you go past that first score line down to that second one. Okay. Then you want to cut down the middle one again to the same place. Then rotate it and cut down just to the first score line so you're cutting that piece off. So you're left with these two pieces. And then again cut that piece off so now you've just got this one tab here. And then you just want to again take a few wedges out of the side there and also take a little wedge off the top piece because this is the reinforced bit that will fold in on the, the lid. Okay, so that's what you should have. Then I'm going to go across to the opposite side and again that outer score line first of all cut past the first score line down to the second and again then the middle all the way down and then rotate and cut this one out. Take a little wedge off there while I'm here. Again, cut that piece off, take a little wedge off there, and then off of each side there. Okay, so that's what you should have, like so. Okay, and then rotate now, so you've got this facing away from you, and you're going to do exactly the same again. So, cutting down. Okay, so that is now what you should have for your lid. So you've got these four little tabs here with little wedges taken out, wedges off of all the outer ones. That's all ready for us to now glue down. So you could use red tape here if you wanted. I'm just going to use my tacky glue just because it's, it's nice and quick and strong. So you just want to pop some onto the top of the tab there and then bring it in, bring your side down so you form a nice right angle there and a nice corner to your box okay you've got time to have a little bit of wiggle room as well so just really I'm kind of pulling it down just to make that corner there really really nice okay like so then rotate around to the next one and you just want to repeat that on all of those little tabs okay so that's what you should have now all those four corners in and then these reinforced bits hanging down so now pop it on its side and you want to put glue on the inside of the outer piece here so just on this piece here so I'm just not you know too careful with it just because we're going to use our bone tool over the top and we'll be able to spread that glue out just make sure you get a nice cover there with the glue and then just fold it in pop it on its side and grab your bone tool and just rub that down until all that glue spreads out and you get a nice crisp edge and side to that lid so you can see there and then just rotate it again grab your glue and pop it and just do that on all okay, four so sides now there is our reinforced lid okay so then move on to the base we'd already got that all prepped so again what we want to do here is just put some glue on the outer parts of these corner tabs and just like you did with the box oh using my glue there just bring that one under and then one of the sides up and again just make sure you get a really nice corner okay so that's one side and then again just again get your glue 
and you just want to do exactly okay so that is now your box and remember I'd stuck that already so that other piece you would stick in there just to give you a nice right, base lid to your and box. that will just sit now nicely on top so if you want there is just a lovely um, 4x4 four four gift box Beautiful. okay so I've changed my mind and you know I was saying oh I'm gonna have now I'm gonna stick with the printed for the actual um, napkin fold I haven't I've changed and I've just done it again but in plain black so this is that again eight by eight just folded just how I did with that but this is now what I'm going to use so and I'm not going to waste this because there are all these squares on here so I'm just going to go and cut them out and then I'll be back and I'll be okay so when I said you needed four pieces of the black um, and this was the two and a half squared card I've now saved that piece that I originally had for the napkin fold so basically what you will do is just cut it if you want to use a ruler you can I'm just eyeballing this from corner to corner like so to create these ones here and they will fit perfectly giving you a nice little border in these ones here okay so you do that with those four which will give you eight of the big triangles and then you had uh, eight of these smaller ones here which were your uh, one and five eighths of an inch and again I've just cut them all from because the score lines were exact so I've just altered them slightly again cut them like that and that will give you 16 of those ones there so basically we are now going to with all these pieces fill all of the triangles and you will have a nice black border around there and then these smaller ones will fit in these triangles here like so and you just want to go around and just fill that whole piece okay. okay so that's that piece now all covered and you can see there the bits that I cut earlier so what you want to do is fold those pieces kind of under like this okay like so grab your base of your box and then starting off with one of them here okay so I'm going to put glue on the inside of the triangle these are all nice and strong now as well because obviously they've got that pattern paper on top and now they're going to be stuck onto this so it's going to reinforce the sides so basically keeping all four pieces in the box you want to pop that one in and just line it up to the score line through the center and then inside here you just want to make sure you get that stuck down to the side there and you can pop it on its side and just really apply some pressure on there just to make sure it all sticks down nicely and get right up into the corners okay then go around and what you can do now is fold it over and just again put glue make sure you really focus on the edges and the corners there because you want those to stick so it's a triangle you don't want them rolling up and then fold that one down again lift it up here just to make sure that you get it nice and lined up with that score line Then pop it on its side just go around there just make sure that's really stuck down and again do the same here and just do that on the other corners okay, there. So that's all those four sides you can see inside there it looks beautiful and then what you want to do is fold it all in and just kind of fold that each triangle kind of back down inside the box it will just help when you want it all to kind of close bring in it all in each other. grab your lid and as you kind of sit the lid on top it will push it all down and there it is so now when someone gets it and they open it up you get this lovely it's almost like an explosion box again because it kind of opens up like that but that is a napkin fold gift box and it looks beautiful it's just a really really lovely thing and that's again it's just a beautiful size you fit lots of nice things in it and again just get it sit it on top and it will just all fold down so there you have it so not my idea hopefully i've given the credit to the people that have and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy and liked the versions that I've done. So please subscribe to my channel um, if you'd like to see more tutorials. And remember to hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy today. Thanks for watching. Bye.